long heritage that has provided the foundation for our being an innovation leader. First, with a nationwide 100% digital fiber optic network. First, with a 100% digital PCS network. First, with a nationwide 4G network. First, with the EVO 4G. with network vision that will build upon our heritage to keep us an innovative leader far to the future. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Sprint CEO, Dan Hesse. Well, thank you and good evening and welcome. Through our great partnership with HTC, we have launched some of the most innovative devices in the industry. Two years ago, Sprint and HTC redefined how people use their wireless devices by announcing a new super phone, the HTC Evo 4G. It was the nation's first 4G phone and became Sprint's fastest selling new device at that time. The Evo 4G set the multimedia bar high and won numerous awards and received high praise by many of the people who are here tonight. A year later, the accolades continued when Sprint announced the HTC Evo 3D, the first 4G phone in America that offered a glasses-free 3D experience. Today, millions of customers are enjoying the Evo experience. Pairing the Evo innovation and form factor with Sprint's unlimited data offers customers a powerful combination. Due to the success of our partnership with HTC, Evo has become a premier Sprint franchise. Tonight marks another milestone in our evolution, an all-new Evo exclusively from Sprint. This new Evo is the gold standard for a rich multimedia experience with a gorgeous expansive screen, a blazing fast processor, and the latest version of Android and HTC Sense. This new Evo you are about to see is also a showcase for Sprint's network vision. Network Vision is our nationwide network initiative designed to give customers a better 3G coverage experience, better quality, better data speeds, plus a national LTE network. We have announced the first six LTE markets and many more are coming soon. Network Vision deployment is expected to be completed by the end of 2013. Through Network Vision, this new Evo will be the first HD voice capable phone launched by a U.S. mobile carrier, which incorporates a new technology that makes mobile voice quality crystal clear. It eliminates background noise and makes it easier to identify voices and hear every word better than ever. This enhanced voice quality ties to Sprint's heritage all the way back to the launch of the first fiber optic network that delivered calls so crisp and clear, you could hear a pin drop. The rollout of this technology will take place throughout the next two years, and the new phone we are announcing today will be the first device to support HD voice. You'll get to hear a demo soon, voiced by one of my favorite actors, and we believe that once you experience wireless HD voice calls, nothing else will do. So now it is my pleasure to introduce Jason McKenzie, the president of HTC, so we can officially unveil the new media. Well, thanks, Dan. And thanks to all of you guys for joining us today on this special occasion. You know, as I was sitting there listening with you, it's amazing to think that actually it's, it's only been two years since our two companies launched the original HTC Evo. You know, as we look back, look back on that day and, and, the, and the days to follow, um, it's clear to see that the HTC Evo really, really produced a turning point in the industry as the first 4G smartphone ever to launch in the U.S. And likewise, as you heard from HTC earlier this year, 2012 represents a turning point for our company as
because we have a renewed energy and focus and commitment to quality around launching and delivering true hero products and experiences. And three of those key areas where you see HTC spending a, a big amount of investment on are one, producing beautiful designs, two, an amazing camera, and three, authentic sound. So let's take a look at how we've combined these great experiences with the HTC Evo. Sense 4. Sense 4 is faster, cleaner, and more intuitive than ever before. It also it really focuses on what people want, what our customers are asking us for, and that is an amazing camera and an awesome sound experience. Lastly, the new HTC Evo represents the tremendous showcase of collaboration between HTC and Sprint. As our two companies really work together on everything from integrating the LTE technology inside to the actual physical design of the phone. And as you know, design is something that HTC has always been serious about. And this year, HTC is doubling down even further on design to make sure that our phones not only look great, but feel great in customers' hands. And that's all because they've been designed with a specific purpose. And so I'd like to invite the lead Evo designer up here to tell you a little bit more about the detail and focus that went into that. So please welcome Jonah Becker. Thanks, Jason, and good evening, everyone. I'm really excited about the new Evo because I've been fortunate to work with the team at Sprint on developing the Evo franchise since the very beginning. The goal with every Evo has been to combine premium design and industry-leading technology. So I know intimately that the Evo name stands for the very best. When we started working on this new Evo, we really wanted it to be all about the use of authentic materials, a meticulous attention to detail, and a strong focus on the features that real Evo users want in their phones. The new Evo is crafted from an aluminum space frame. This means that it feels both lightweight yet sturdy when you're holding it in your hand. The aluminum is first anodized to a beautiful black metal finish. Then we machine off the surface of the edge to expose the natural metal underneath, forming a bright ring around the perimeter of the foam. The result both highlights the thinness and gives a detail that you've never seen on a phone before. 
Now, this is just one detail that we're really proud of. And I think a lot of people would be surprised at just how much passion and effort went into the creation of this new Evo. So we have a behind the scenes video that shows the team talking about the design process. So why don't we roll that now? You know, we're always looking years in advance on like what technologies do we want to bring to market? What what is the the feel? What is the focus? What is the the color, the material, the feel that we want to bring? Um, and and how is that package going to look? When people like other people far away, they can recognize that is an HTC product. So in this one, we create this red band. So we can say this is a design feature, but this has function. I mean, to create this device, we had to take experts from all over the place, from materials, from design, from mechanical engineering, antenna technology, battery technology. It's like a very, very, very different from other competitor. All these things squeeze into a device that has to be thinner, it has to be more beautiful, it has to be sexier than any Evo before it. One of the interesting effects we wanted to achieve was a soft touch finish. We feel that the, the way a product feels is just as important as the way it looks. Effectively there's two steps to creating this soft touch effect. The first one is what we call blasting, where they actually blast the aluminum with different types of media and that creates a texture on the plug. And the second process was a chemical etching process. And if you imagine these sharp peaks on the surface, the chemical etching process was just taking off the top peaks. So we created something that we think is new to the industry without having to include painting or coating. On this one, we try a lot of different detail. Seems like two part, but no, this is one part. You cannot find a part in life. Wow, that is magical. There's so much that goes into these devices. It takes a ton of people and a lot of work to, to get every little detail just right. More than all, we're using about up to 100 different machine cutters to create all the features and the geometry that we need. Extra attention to detail at each of the component levels results in a much better design product at the end of the day that people notice. Everybody on the team, including myself, is really excited for how it turned out and, and everybody's lining up for their own, you know. It's, it's the one I want in my pocket. Now, another distinctive feature of the phone are the red accents that make it unmistakably Evo. With this new Evo, in many ways we feel like we've created a high-end camera as well. So some of our inspiration came from the world of professional high-end photography and SLRs. For example, the red ring that you see around the lens detail was inspired by what you see on high-end camera lenses, and it really highlights the amazing camera experience. The red band across the back creates a clear definition between the tactile metal surface that you hold and the glossy polished camera area. This all makes it impossible to mistake this phone for anything other than an Evo. Now, we gave the new Evo another nod to high-end cameras with a physical camera button. The crisp machined aluminum button makes it really feel like you are holding a precision instrument. For us, it's about making your Evo phone the only camera that you will ever need. Now, with all the cutting edge technology, there's no question that the new Evo is a multimedia powerhouse. So, I'm a hardware guy, I realize that hardware is important, but it's everything you do with that hardware that's most important. People will constantly be using their Evos to browse the web, shoot photos and videos, and watch movies. So ultimately, the hardware is really a passage to all of your content. As soon as that screen comes on, it's all about your music, your photos, and your friends and family. The new Evo emphasizes these experiences with a crisp rectangular silhouette that is truly cinematic. It evokes a plasma TV or a movie screen. We intentionally designed the front of the phone to be as clean as possible with no distractions. It keeps your attention firmly on the screen and brings to life the experiences you want to have. 
Now, there's one more detail that you may have noticed from the previous video, and I think a lot of people are going to be really excited about this. We've brought back one of the favorite features from the original Evo, the kickstand. The kickstand is cleanly integrated into the red band across the back. It lets you go hands-free when you're watching a movie, when you're showing some photos to your family, or sharing the latest YouTube video with a friend. Personally, I really like to use my phone as an alarm clock, and the kickstand on the new Evo is absolutely perfect for that. So, there you have an overview of the design of the new Evo. Authentic materials and a meticulous attention to detail. It's what I truly believe is the next great Evo. So, we've talked about hardware, and what hardware is really about is supporting great experiences. So the next question, what's it like to use the new Evo? To answer that, I'd like to welcome Sprint Product Chief, Fareed Adib. An awesome new Evo, and as you can see, it's special from the moment you first turn it on. Just like the original, we believe that the new Evo will quickly become the smartphone that sets the bar for all smartphones this year. Let me jump right into one of the best features, the camera. For the next generation Evo, we wanted to give people the power of a true digital SLR in their phone. That's why we provided an 8 megapixel camera that includes HTC's ImageSense technology. Now ImageSense brings improvements to the lens, the sensor, and it even incorporates a dedicated imaging chip to ensure great photos every time. The camera has super fast startup and autofocus times, so it means you'll never miss a moment. With the fast autofocus, you can easily stay with a moving object, take pictures, all by holding down the shutter button. This is called continuous shooting mode, and it allows you to capture four frames per second, up to 99 shots, just like the SLRs of today. You can also pick your favorite shot and easily delete the rest. Now, how often have you had a picture that doesn't turn out well in a dark room? With ImageSense, the best-in-class f-stop 2.0 lens lets in 44% more light than most other smartphones. This means your pictures will be brighter and clearer. And we've also added an HDR mode that gives you a great shot no matter how uneven the lighting is. There's also something called Smart Flash that adjusts the strength of the flash based on how far away something is, so you won't have pictures that look washed out. Now, have you ever had an experience of being somewhere special or seeing something cool and you've asked yourself, should I shoot video or photos? Well, for me, it's when I'm at a, a sporting event. I want to capture all the action in the video, but I also want to capture photos so I can immediately post them to Facebook. Well, Evo lets you do videos and photos simultaneously at the same time. And you don't have to switch between modes. In fact, it makes the whole uh, conversation around video mode or photo mode irrelevant. It's really simple. While you're shooting a video, just tap the shutter button, and it captures a still image of the exact moment. It even works when you're playing back the photo, the video. In fact, we gave Evo to a professional photographer, Mino, to try out for a few days. Now, Mino shoots advertising and entertainment around the country. He's shot uh, al albums for uh, Lady Gaga, Black Eyed Peas, and Rihanna, to name a few. So let's listen to what uh, Mino has to say. Hello, I'm Mino. I'm a photographer. I shoot rock stars and movie stars, and then I come home and I shoot my daughters, who are my incredible muses. There's a story being told in my life all the time, which the camera has become this really great chronicling device for me. Whatever camera it is, is an important device to this life of keeping the poetry of your days. What's been very cool over the past few years is cameras in phones have gotten better and better. So the divide between actually wanting to be a photographer and use great cameras and wanting to be a journalist that journalizes the moments of my life however I can, that has been really coming together. To these folks at HTC had this great idea that I should walk around life taking pictures with my phone. Oh, because I already do that all the time. So as I've been traveling now with it, you know, I did a few days with my kids, and then I've been on the road, and I've been using it for a few days, Detroit, now in New York. There are different ways of tuning it in that are really particularly perfect to 
to what you're doing. We did a photo shoot with this great punk rock chick called Summer. And you know, my job as a photographer is to look at the surface and then get what's inside through that surface. So I had my whole setup with my big lights and my big camera. And then of course, I just traded it off and I shot some with this. And guess what? The photos were awesome. There has been, up to now, this slight divide. If you wanted to be able to chronicle your life in this kind of constant and very up-to-date way where you're taking pictures using your phone so that you're also already cellularized and able to publish those photos, there's something you have to give up, which is a certain quality of the photo. You can only get a good photo. You can't get a great photo. You can get a great moment. You can't get a great photo because it's just not a good enough camera. Then all of a sudden, I start playing with this HTC camera. And I begin to realize, wait a minute, there's a real camera inside here. And, and that's really exciting watching that divide close up. That divide between having a great moment and a great photo. I don't have to go run and grab my big camera to get that great photo. You want to shoot? Push the button, go like that. You take a picture. It's that bad. So easy. So, I want to thank Nino. He's actually here tonight. Thank you for uh, taking the time to take these great photos. Now, next up is our focus on sound. As you know, smartphones provide the soundtrack to people's daily lives. That's why we made it a priority to offer authentic sound, which is improving the quality of audio on smartphones. One of the ways that we've done this is to incorporate Beats audio across the entire phone experience on the Evo. Whether you're playing music, watching a movie, or playing the latest game, you get the rich, authentic sound of Beats every time. Evo even has a media manager that lets you get your music on your phone from your computer working with whatever service you have today, even iTunes. However, people experience music from different types of sources, whether discovering new music through SoundHound, listening to your favorite music service like Spotify, Pandora, or even enjoying your own personal music collection. The ACC Music Hub gives easy access to all of your music from one place. Now, we wanted to give people a way to use their Evo 4G LTE in even more places, from the living room to the car. For the living room, MediaLink gives you a way to share anything on your Evo in the best screen in the home, with a wireless adapter that plugs into any HDMI port. And in car mode, you can wirelessly pipe all the music right through your car stereo system, whether it's stored songs on the music streaming service you enjoy, or your own personal collection. Now, I've covered the amazing camera, the authentic sound with Beats, music, Beats Audio. Now let's talk about HD Voice a little bit more. Even in this age of texting, Facebook, and Twitter, people still want to use their phones for good old-fashioned voice calls. In 2012, Sprint is projected to produce 500 billion voice minutes from our customers running on the Sprint network. It's a crazy number. You heard Dan say how Evo users will be among the first to experience the power of high-definition voice. So Sprint believes HD voice is the future next generation of uh, voice communications. And we are excited to announce today our commitment to bring it nationwide to our customers. So HD voice is a combination of technology in the phone, such as dual mics, encoders, decoders, and technology in the network that we're deploying through network vision. This combination will deliver a fuller, richer voice call experience where calls are less muffled and have less background noise and better reproduction quality. In fact, the dual mics actually work even when you're not in HD voice to reduce that background noise. But just telling you about HD voice doesn't do it justice, so you really have to hear it for yourselves. So let me play this short demonstration for you. Please refrain from audio or video recording of the following demonstration. Hello everyone. I am excited to showcase for you Sprint's latest innovation to improve sound quality with HD Voice. HD Voice brings you more natural and better sounding calls and in noisy situations reduces interfering background noise to improve call quality. 
like the restaurant noises you are having trouble hearing me over right now. With Sprint's new HD voice, this is what you can start to expect your experience to sound like. This great sound quality is what you have come to expect from an innovator like Sprint with its rich pin drop heritage. HD voice really is the future of voice communications and once you've experienced it, you simply won't want anything else. Because who would want to go back to sounding like this? When you can have HD voice. Hearing is believing, so please don't take my word for it. Take advantage of the live demonstration tonight to hear it for yourself. Enjoy the new HD voice experience. Audio and video recording is now permitted. Thank you. So, uh, I guess you could guess that's one of Dan's favorite actors, not me. So, uh, with all this new technology, we didn't forget about the basics. So, I'm happy to say that the Evo 4 GLTE offers a 2,000 milliamp battery. It's another proof point that really delivers on the best-in-class performance of this product. Now, Joe and I have covered a few areas to focus on with the new Evo, the design, the amazing camera, the authentic sound. But just like when we launched the original, this is the benchmark device for this year. And you have to consider all of these capabilities that it delivers on. The 4.7-inch HD screen, Qualcomm's latest Snapdragon S4 dual-core processor, a best-in-class 8-megapixel camera with image sense, Android's Ice Cream Sandwich, HTC Sense 4.0, 2000 milliamp battery, NFC, Beats Audio, HD Voice, and we even brought back the kickstand. Now I know this sounds like an infomercial, but Evo 4 GLTE is really truly the successor to the original Evo franchise. And it's all going to be available in the second quarter for just $199.99. Pre-sales start on May 7th. So we can get this in the hands of our customers really soon. So we want to thank you all for being here tonight. And this concludes this portion of the presentation. And now we're going to open up the demonstration area for you to experience some of the great features of the Evo for yourself. Thank you all.